Hey, hello my friends, hope everybody is well. Today I'm going to show you an issue I've gotten on a few Chromebooks with flickering screens and how to fix it. But I'm not going to show you every single screw. I'm going to loosen and tighten. I'm just going to explain what I'm doing as I go through the process. So the video may be broken up a little bit. This is on an HP uh, 11G8 Educational Edition and the screen flickers. See that, what it's doing there? That means that the video cable is uh, messed up. That's a used video cable I pulled out of another Chromebook. Um, what you're gonna have to do is take the keyboard off and take the screen out. You're just gonna pry this out with, a, I use a tool kit like this, it's about $14 you can buy. There's gonna be four screws here, Phillips screws. You're going to unscrew these screws here, Phillips screws. Keyboard's going to pry out. Um, you're just going to pry out the keyboard, pull it out, this side up first, and then pull it. You don't have to take the wires off. There's two wires. There's one for the keyboard, a big flat ribbon wire, and a little thin ribbon wire. You can lift the keyboard out and leave it like kind of laying here, or you get to take the wires out. There's just a little black clip here and a white clip here you're going to lift up. And your whole keyboard will kind of give you more room. And then you're going to have to um, take the uh, the hinge screws off here. There's four of them, or there's two of them. There's going to be two here and then two here. And I'll show you all this once I get to that point, uh, each step. And then take your wire out. Take pictures of the routing of the wire. And uh, put your new or used wire back in again. And uh, put it all back together again. Okay, I'll show you step-by-step uh, step as I take things apart. Okay, here's where I've taken off the bezel. This one is actually damaged. I'm going to end up replacing this with another used one. But I pried off the bezel with my hand. Just used this tool. The picture before this shows me using this tool to get under it. And I removed these uh, four uh, small... Phillips screwdriver, uh, Phillips screws from here, here, and then there, and then this screen just lifts up, and you're going to peel this back, and there's going to be a little hook, well here, let's see if I can do this with one hand, real quick, right there, you're going to take, let me see if I can, you're going to take something small, I'm just as an example I'm showing you and you're going to pry up this little hook here and I'll use something there we go I got it off and then it's going to just should just pull right off gently there we go and your screen is off now next I'm going to take the uh, the keyboard because I need to get access to the cable which is right there and you're going to this is the hinge screws I was telling you about Okay, so here I've taken the uh, screws out from the bottom, but I want to show you guys and gals something before I forget. The two r rear screws to the Chromebook here and here will be late. Will be having a blue mark on the threads, some paint, and the other ones will have a red mark. It's very important that these go back in the right spot because these screws are longer. And if you put the longer screws in, like here, it's going to make the keyboard stick up and possibly damage it. Same thing with here. So you're going to use the shorter screws here, the red painted ones here, and here, and here. And the longer ones, the blue ones here, and here. And, oh, I forgot to show you also this other thing. This piece here just comes off. You just pry it off. I use this thing to pry it off a little bit. Just make sure you put it back in the same way it came off. Sometimes these little tab things break off and it's a nuisance to get this back on. I've been known to use some tape here and here to hold it in. But yeah, make sure you put these screws back in the right order. I use one of these things to hold all the screws so you don't lose anything. Alright, so here like I showed you before, in the last video I uh, took the screws out and showed you the proper placement of the screws and I pried the keyboard out. Now when you're prying in these keyboards out, you're going to have to use... Probably something like this, maybe a little metal spade or something, or spatula, and you're really going to have to dig in there to pry it out. 
when I say this, <laughs> don't worry about, like, you're really going to be, be bending this keyboard to pry it out. And you're going to say, I'm going to break something. Oh, no. I've been doing this for about a year now and I haven't broke anything as far as keyboard-wise. So, um, you'll be okay. Remember, it's going to come up like this first and then kind of slide out, pry out. And then let me show you these wires I was telling you about. See how, that's the, that's how close that is. So, these are the, um, the two, uh, this is the keyboard wire here, the ribbon cable. So you're just going to take this, and I can't get it with my fingernail. Can't see, really. You're going to pry that up, that little black thing up, and that little white thing up. There's sometimes a little piece of plastic over it. Just get under there with a your spade or something, or whatever you call it. Take that piece of plastic up and uh, get that white thing up, and the cable comes right out. And the same thing here, just make sure you... When you're reinstalling it, you're pushing the cable all the way back in. Let me see if I can actually do this. I think I've got it. Sorry for the one-handedness here. I should have brought my... My, um... Yeah, this plastic is really on here. Okay, so here... I think this keyboard's ever been replaced. All right, good. So then you're gonna come up, you're gonna lift that up, it's up, and then the cable just slides right out. There you go, same thing with the white one. And you're gonna take this keyboard out, off because it's, unless you wanna leave it, I guess it's totally up to you. Next project is you're gonna take these two screws out, oop, three screws out, I thought there was just two. And the hinge should kinda of just be flopping around you might have to take these screws out. I forget. I haven't done this in a while. And again, you're making note of where the cable is running. The routing of the cable. It goes under the hinge and then over here. And your video cable is... I'm trying to look at it without... Without... Uh, it's over there. I'll show you. Okay. I'll be back. All right. I got the cable out. It was... A little bit tricky. You gotta move this hinge over to get out because it's really under this plastic thing here. But once you get that out, away from there, the cable is um, again it's taped, and there's also a piece of clear tape over the um, the connection. So you gotta do a lot of pulling back of tape and black tape. Where's the piece of tape at? Here it is, right here. Kind of gotta mangle up the tape a little bit. Um, I'm going to use a little piece of tape when I put the uh, the use cable back in. Whatever kind of tape I can find, packing tape, or I'm going to use scotch tape or something to hold that cable in. Um, it was just remember your routing of the cable, and you got to pull this out a little bit, and be careful. You don't want to um, bend up the uh, the frame of the. Uh, where the screen sits. And I also want to show you, sometimes when you're doing this, <laughs> little pieces will fall out. And hopefully these aren't important pieces, but it looks like something may have broken. Um, the hinges are in good shape. They're attached. Uh, this is a back end for a, um, to the screw for the screen. So I don't know how to look into that. If not, may I, it, They'll hold on fine. I've held them on even with one screw to screens, two screws. Um, they're secure enough in there. So I'll be back. I'm going to put the cable back in and show you the routing, hopefully. Okay, got everything back together again, kind of. I didn't attach a keyboard yet or anything like that, but I did connect, obviously, the keyboard the cable the big ribbon cable and the small mouse cable, making sure everything is working, everything seems to check out some of the keys, everything's there, and the screen is loose, and I flipped it around, there's no, there's no movement, there's no movement, there's no uh, flickering of the screen, so it definitely was the uh, video cable that I replaced. Remember, just take pictures, you got your phone, pictures are free, <laughs> no time to develop, develop like the old days of your routing of your cable that's most important and just watch out for broken things coming out of the chromebook but this one looks like it's okay 
everything is back together i'm going to put the other i'm going to put the rest of the screws in here clip on the basil press on the uh, the uh, whatever they call it, i think around the screen basil whatever it is <laughs> and finish putting the keyboard on pressing in the keyboard and putting the screws there remember two long screws in the back and the uh red uh the one with the uh red paint on the threads ones on with the red paint on the threads the four are in the front Okay, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped you out in uh, replacing the um, video cable in a uh, Chromebook. Uh, this also goes for several models of this style Chromebook. Uh, the G11s, the G8s, I think, the G9s, the G10s. And this is the educational edition of the uh, Chromebook. But not a hard repair to do if you're pretty handy just take your time don't lose your screws make sure you put them in something like this so you don't lose them and just take your time hope this video helped you out please like this video and uh, comment if you need to make any comments and subscribe to my channel really appreciate all you guys and gals have a good day